Hey guys, so uh, this is a very unusual guitar. Um, we're here for the Vintage Guitar Minute on the All Guitar Network. This is a guitar made in England. It's uh, Tony Zemitis. And this guitar is an original one of his guitars with the etched uh, face, the etched um, woman on the face and, uh, and the silver plated covering going like the pick guard. And um, he used different pickups on different models of his guitars. Very cool ebony fingerboard, nice inlays. Um, again, the, uh, you know, the metal plating with the etching. And just a very cool guitar. A lot of the British guys use these guitars. Ron Wood and Eric Clapton had one. And, you know, I think Keith Richards and all those guys, he made them. And uh, mahogany sides and back. This is a 12 string. And it's got the initials of the original owner. And this guitar, I believe, I got um, from Mick Mars many, many years ago. And um, just a very cool guitar. Um, and uh, just wanted this a little bit off center, but it's really, really cool. These are valuable and very cool. And I, I guess Tony's not around anymore. So um, now, they're, now they're being made overseas, but this is an original one made in England. Hey guys, so this is a 1940. Eight L5. Um, it's 17 inch body, spruce top. Uh, this one, because it's made at that time, it has a rosewood board, but with the big block inlays. Uh, it's got the double McCarty pickup assembly. These are like sort of like two P90s built into the pick guard. Um, the gold L5 tailpiece, wood bridge, um, the torch up at the top, Gibson and script and uh, maple sides and back, really beautiful wood. Um, just a great example of an L5, acoustic L5, but with the floating uh, McCarty pickguard pickup assembly. And, uh, you know, this was like the thing for most pro players back in the day. Um, if you like great jazz guitars, this is one of them. L5 is uh, a favorite to most of the top jazz players in the world. So this guitar is available and uh, just very, very cool. This was in my warehouse for a number of years and I just thought it was real cool. So now somebody else is probably gonna enjoy it and think it's real cool also. Okay guys, this is a really gorgeous example of a Rickenbacker Model 381. And this one um, is, I believe in 1972. This thing is stunning. This was like a real top of the line Rick. Uh, it's got the checkerboard binding. It's got the inlays that go all the way across the neck. Um, it's just a great example, and it's very similar to the guitar that John Kay from Steppenwolf played. And they eventually did a model uh, called the John Kay model, which was based on this 381. So it also has the raised um, carved face on this, so the, it's not perfectly flat. Um, there's a lot more workmanship in this than, say, a 3. 30 or 380 or 360. Um, just a very cool guitar with this uh, double checkerboard binding. This was a super top of the line instrument. And this has the original case, but it's a black case with a blue interior. Some of the Rickenbackers did uh, these um, black cases. A lot of the old ones were silver cases, but this one is an original black case. Just a very cool example. So something very unusual. Okay, guys, so this is probably a one-of-a-kind. Um, this is a combination 330-381. And uh, what makes this so unusual, this is probably the only one or maybe a couple made. But I'm not sure exactly how many. But it's got the raised uh, top, like a 381, but yet it's got the appointments of a 330. It's got the dot fingerboard. Um, it's got the double pickups. Uh, and it's got the, uh, it's, this is a six string, of course. Um, beautiful, you know, maple on the back, a little bird's eye over here. Um, and the toaster pickups. Um, this one is a 1968. So um, somebody obviously custom ordered this or somebody in the factory just had a brainstorm and figured they'd kind of um, try to combine two important models into one. And uh, this is the only one I've ever seen, and I'm not sure if there's any others. 
pretty cool guitar in the fire glow finish which was the Rickenbacker sunburst uh, they did a fire glow like this and they did an autumn glow which was a little darker and that was their sunburst and they did them in the uh, natural finish which I call the maple glow in black jet glow but this they as far as I know they only did one and it's in the fire glow